uh, hi, greetings, welcome back to, um, <coughs> to Sekiro, I, I, I think. Uh, I remember this part. It's been a while since I've last played through this game, like, probably a year? But I remember this part, and I remember this nice looking fella back there, and I remember that this part was a tad bit annoying. Now who might you be? I know you. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> You're that good Sir Shinobi, sir. How do you know you that? Since, well, since that night. Who are you? What night? Hmm? Wait, you don't remember? No. Oh. I see. You don't remember. Hmm. Listen, sir. You and I, we've met before. I was a thief back then. <laughs> but those days are behind me. Now, I'm an upright and honest merchant. Only problem is, I'm broke. Same. I'm broke. I don't have anything to sell. Though, good sir, would you mind lending me just a few coins to get my business going? I'll stock something useful just for you. <laughs> you bet I will. And as a little bonus, I'll tell you all about that night. What do you think? Pretty good deal, right? <laughs> Depends. Okay, ten cent is... that's... that's Here's fine. Some coin. <laughs> Thanks, good sir. Now talk. Yes, 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 of course. That night. <laughs> so my gang broke into the Hirata estate. Now, as you're aware, the Hirata family is part of the Ashina. Now, normally they'd mop the floor with petty thieves like us. I mean, no sweat. But it just so happens we broke in during a battle. Almost all the young samurai were away from home, and it was a prime opportunity. Then, we started a fire and cleaned out the place. That bears when I met you. You were looking for something. At least, that's what it looked like to me. Well, that's all I know about that night. I see. Yeah, uh, that, uh, look you're making now. <laughs> you had that same look on your face that night. You still looking? Or something listen <laughs> good sir for a price i might be able to tell you some other tidbits you might find useful now for a price of course i'm a, a merchant now you know so is this guy like purchase information purchase 20 cent uh <clears throat> i don't know sure i'll buy some information thank you very much for your patron since you're a shinobi, I'll give you some information about shinobi tools. If you could. Now, I've seen this tube. A tube with fire blasting out of it. Huh? When we broke into the Harata estate, one of my pals nabbed one. That's... That's the sound the fire makes when it blasts out. Flame barrel memo. A tattered note written by Aneyama. Seems to be from some years ago. Lucrative info number 36. When we broke into Hirata estate, we found a barrel that spewed flame. The boys lit the roaring bonfire with it. A bonfire? Dark Souls? And made merry with the drink. Must have been a shinobi's tool. A fire shooting tube at the Hirata estate. I'll keep that in mind. Alright, so this guy just tells me where I can find important items? Seems like. Okay, interesting. Seems like our young master can just leave behind remnants like that, or maybe that, that that is just an ability that I have. Could I please? <clears throat> All right. Let us see your face with that big bastard just tied up next to us. I'd rather not be gravely injured just before the war begins. Nah, if the worst happens, only choice is to use fire. Those red eyes fear fire. That's what the Lord promised. 
proclamation, he said. Proclamation? What a joke. Ashina sure has a funny way of preparing for war. I see. Yeah, that's a hint telling me that fire is probably effective against that guy. Which tells me that I should have gone back to uh, the temple and made and used the firecrackers for a new prosthetic tool. But uh, I'm stupid, so we're gonna fight him without fire. At least I'm gonna try. Alright, let's see. I mean, he seems to be bound, so... Chained over. I'm just gonna, um... Do this if you don't mind. I'm not of course you don't think. Grab attacks! Grab attacks cannot be deflected. There is no way to avoid taking serious damage once grabbed. But if one jumps or sprints away, grab attacks can be avoided. Some grabs can also be avoided with a well-timed step dodge. And that is why this fight is so annoying, because he mostly fights with grabs. Also, you can... Uh, like, hookshot yourself to the sky for some reason. <clears throat> and he deals a lot of damage. Nope! No, my fucking god. Yeah, you may see why this guy is so annoying to fight. <laughs> Ouch. Oh, this is going wonderfully. One more grab and I'm... I'm... Yeah, that happens. Oh no, I landed in Skyrim. No! Your death is not your fate. Just yet. Well, um, Rottison sculpture. Somewhere a paint cough rings out continuously. The man who coughs zealously sculpts statues of Buddha to avoid being consumed by the building flames. Owning this item reduces one's chances of receiving unseen aid. So, when you die, there's a chance that you get this rot. And the more rot you have, the lower the chance that you receive, um, or the chance that you get res uh, unseen aid gets lower and lower. Unseen aid, as far as I understood, is basically just that if you die, you have a chance to get unseen aid, which... Let's you keep your money, I guess, I think. Rotterson's timid maid. Somewhere a pain cough rings out continuously. The coughing and wheezing sounds of an old woman deeply worried about her beloved master. Owning this item reduces one's chance of receiving unseen aid. Dragon Rod. The more one with the power the more one with the power of the Dragon's heritage dies, the more of a sickness known as Dragon Rod spreads through the world. Dragon Rod is not caused by resurrection. It has a chance to occur only when the wolf truly dies repeatedly. The more rot the sense wolf has, the lower the chances of receiving unseen aid. Hmm. What is it? Seems to me your battle sense has returned. You're more like a shinobi than before. If only a little. Take this. Shinobi esoteric text. A book of secrets that, de that details a var variety of techniques employed by shinobi. Grants the ability to learn shinobi style skills. Yeah, this game uh, has a skill tree that we just unlocked. Within this text are the in innermost secrets of the shinobi arts, such as attacks performed in the air and hiding one's body to avoid detection. Such moves could never be practiced by a samurai. What is it? Shinobi techniques. Recorded within are fighting techniques that cannot be performed by samurai. Hmm. Whether you make use of them or not is up to you. Shinobi aren't the only ones with their own fighting techniques. Skills. Owning an esoteric text of a combat style will allow its skills to be acquired in the sculptor's idol skill menu. Each enemy defeated provides skill experience. Skill points are acquired once enough experience is gained, which can be spent to unlock skills. Some skills can also be, earn be learned by obtaining items or defeating enemies. Um... I don't like the Dragon Rod, 
not a big fan of it because I hate when a game punishes you for dying. Like, of course, death itself is a punishment and you have to do stuff again. That's fair. That's okay. I mean, you died. Hey. But these additional punish... This additional punishment, like the fucking... The health decrease in Demon Souls and Dark Souls 2 and this Dragonrod shit here. I, I, I really don't like it. I found one. A shinobi tool? Yes. I said before that your prosthetic arm was a fang. But by fitting shinobi tools to your arm, you'll be able to change the form of that fang. Thick shields, break them into splinters. Swift foes, bring them down from afar. Fitting more devices means more ways to slay your enemies. If there's someone that needs killing, there's a proper way to kill them. That's all there is to it. Hmm. Seems you know this prosthetic very well. I should calm myself. The more I speak of bloodshed, the more demonic my sculptures will become. Give it here. I'll fit that tool for you. Present Shinobi prosthetic. Let's see. Fitting prosthetic tools. Regular Shinobi tools found in the world can be specifically adapted to the Shinobi prosthetic via the Fit prosthetic tools menu. So, we found the Shuriken wheel and Robert's firecrackers, which means we can get two new tools. I'm gonna get both of them, of course. Prosthetic tool. Prosthetic tools are shinobi tools adapted for use with the shinobi prosthetic. They can be equipped in the equipment menu and using them consumes consume spirit emblems. Okay, so... Yes, I get it. Okay, I'm gonna equip both of them, of course. Oh yeah, this is also where um, you can see how high the chance uh, is that you get unseen aid. Also your skill points, all that stuff. And now, okay, I'm not gonna explain it, I'm gonna let you explain it. Spirit emblems are required to activate prosthetic tools and are consumed each time these abilities are used. Spirit emblems can be obtained from defeated enemies in the world and purchased from sculptor's idols. If you pass near them, they will find their way to you. Okay, good. <laughs> How many more? <laughs> How many more tutorials is this game gonna throw at me? Um... Yeah, I'm not gonna get this, however, I do want to get this. Absolutely. That is a very important skill. And now I shall return... I think this is where we died. Where the fucking ogre is. Now that I, ha that I have the fucking firecrackers, maybe the fight is gonna be a bit more pleasant. Can I, like, drop attack one of you guys? Yes, I can. I absolutely can. Ouch. Good fucking start. Could you stop deflecting, please? That's my job. There we fucking go. Alright, let's see how effective this is gonna be. Hey, buddy. You and your annoying fucking grab attacks. Okay, now, uh, how do I? That's all. Certainly seems scare. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, for fuck's sake. I fucking hate the grabs in this game. Oh, and I don't have enough finger magics for my. Oh my god. For my, um. Firecracker snow, great! Oh my fucking god. This guy- What?! I was standing behind him! Are you kidding me?! Oh my god, this guy has two vitality points. Oh, this is... Unpleasant as fuck. Oh, but at least, at least I got a revive back. All right, all right. Okay. Dodge off. Oh, come on. 
Yeah, this is not gonna end well. Fucking hate the graphs in this game. Why? Why can't they should have made the Harry like deflectable? Because like this, there's just fuck, they're fucking annoying. And I have no idea what this gets like. Why I can do that and what it? If there's like any uh, advantage I get from doing that. Oh, stunned him. Perfect timing as well. No, 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 no. You're gonna, not gonna get me with your cheap fucking grabs. Not this time. No, 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 no. Okay, I think that's it. Yes, that's it. Whew, alright. Prayer beat. Acquire skill, Shinobi Medicine, rank 1. A latent skill that increases the healing effect of recovery items. Medicinal knowledge is vital for a shinobi's survival. Receiving wounds in battle is inevitable. The only way to learn such techniques is to be gravely injured time and time again by worthy opponents. What? So like... The more damage I take, the better my healing gets? Is that how it works? Night charm monocular. A bamboo tube used to see distant objects. Oh, it's the fucking binoculars. Oh, I'm in my number one thumbnail tool. While Shinobi already have good vision, and <laughs> looking through this tube with one eye enables one to see even further. Alright. <clears throat> Let me equip that real quick. Let's see. Uh, wrong. There we go. Yes! My thumb... Can I zoom in? Can I... Ah, there we go. Now this guy... Looks pretty threatening. Uh oh! Ah oh, shit, I pressed the wrong... I didn't mean to jump down here. Actually, you know what? I, I think I wanna return to... To, um, to the bonfire. Because I think I may have enough skill points for... Oh, shit. And, uh, I may have enough skill points for that one skill I want. And also, I just found an upgrade for my healing. Doesn't open from this side, alright. But how do I get to the other side? Hmm. I'm gonna worry about that later. But first... I am gonna return to the temple. Please. Come on. Okay, let's see. Um, Acquire skills. I still don't have enough skill points for that. Oh, that fucking sucks. Progress is uh, going rather slow, but... Hey, at least <laughs> there is some progress. Okay, now... How do I get there? This part... It's a bit tricky, because of all the enemies in, uh, around here, and the fucking guy in the middle who is another mini-boss. So you gotta... Think about how I'm gonna do this. Maybe I can stealth kill my... never mind. Someone saw me. I think this guy might even be optional, but of course I wanna... I wanna kill him. Divine Confetti. Confetti imbued with a divine blessing made for driving away apparitions. The paper is made ceremoniously, whereby pulp is spread thin using water from the exalted fountainhead. As the gods bless, this, bless the water, so too will the confetti bless one who basks in its touch, allowing attacks to connect with apparition-typed enemies. Cool. Temple posting, turn back if you value your life. You can't be head to headless. Our swords and pikes did nothing. That's slightly ominous. Okay, now I think we can pick them up <coughs> one by one. I should be able to make this battle a lot easier for myself. Let's see. What I can... Oh! I'm quick enough, I can backstep this guy. 
And maybe even the guy on top of the stairs. Yeah. Alright, two more down. I'm gonna I'm gonna play like a pussy. I'm sorry. But Oh there's a bonfire down. Oh, I'm gonna I think I'm gonna activate that. I'm not gonna rest at it. <clears throat> Don't wanna respawn all the enemies. But I'm gonna activate it. Where did that guy Oh lol? You're a fucking idiot, you know that? Oh, adios. Oh, pellets. Okay now how many of you are left? Could you stop banging the fucking whatever you're doing up there? Stop it! Old man! Okay, uh, I'm gonna get rid of the fucking gunman next. Sick dodge. So far so good. Maybe if I play my cards right. I could do this. Oh, amazing. Okay. Okay, okay, good, good. Yeah, you can also um, backstab and like jump attack or whatever you want to call it attack. Uh, mini bosses, which instantly takes a vitality point from them. Doesn't always work, but when it does, it's super satisfying. Um. You know, don't die. I don't want to do all this shit again. This guy seems a bit trickier than the other mini bosses we've encountered so far. But at least he didn't do any grabs so far, so that's nice. Uh oh. Okay, come on. Just stop kicking me. Oh, there we go. And that should. Be it, come on. No, 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 don't you dare grab me, you bitch. Ouch. Get up, get up, get up, get up. You can see that if uh, I take too long to attack him again, his posture slowly regenerates, and that's not good. Don't know what he wanted to do there, but I stopped him. Granting me another prayer bead. Wow, oh, usually I have um, a lot more problems with this part. Can I get on the ceiling? I still gotta figure... Uh, there's, there's an invisible wall, cool. Still gotta figure out how I can access that door. I think in all my playthroughs I've actually never found out how I can get to the other side of that door. Uh, scrap iron. Iron drags mined in Ashino. Widely used for basic reinforcement, it can serve as a base material for prosthetic tool upgrades. Ashina is burdened with thick snow and infertile land, but the scrap iron dug from her soul is anything but crude. If you say so. Okay, now let's check out this path right here. With the very ominous warning. Does this even lead anywhere? I can see an item down there, yes, but... It's a cave, but how do I get down there? Oh. Oh, I see. There we go. Also can't remember that I ever took this path. Hmm, maybe I'm gonna... Discover something new here. Can I make that jump? Yep. Good thing that fall damage doesn't exist in this game. Where does this take me? Uh oh, this seems ominous. This seems... 
Very ominous. Um. Oh, I can see someone down there. Someone who's naked. That's great. But... I'm not gonna go down there just yet. I wanna see what's up here first. This might actually be how I can access the other side of that door. It might be. Yeah, I mean... You just saw me. The fuck? Oh, little gecko! Oh, that's cute. Ain't that adorable? Ah, so this is how I can get to the other side of that door. Alright, mystery solved. Great. Divine grass. <laughs> Hell yeah. A secret medicine that fully restores vitality and cures all status abnormal abnormalities. One small part of Ashina is exceedingly old. The ancient soil, rocks and water that pervaded the land are said to have attracted the attention of the gods. The Dr. Dogen studied the plants in this ancient place, resulting in the recipe for the special medicine. Ah, so this is like a divine blessing. I see. Hey, buddy. The fuck? Alright, that was weird. Wait. Oh no, that's, that was the second one. For a moment I thought that... The other guy revived himself. Anyways, I think, I do believe that this is a perfect spot to end this episode. As always, I hope you all enjoyed. I hope you have or had a great day. And I'll see you all in the next episode. Goodbye.